Today, I'm going to show you the nicest candle tins I've ever seen. Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcraft, and today I wanted to talk about some new tins that if you've been a part of the Facebook candle group, you have no doubt seen me post pictures of these. Uh, I've teased them just a little bit because it was something that was coming on the way and I hadn't received them, but I just got them in the mail today. I wanted to make a quick video and actually do just kind of a quick overview of these. And then of course, over the next week or so, I'm gonna be going in and actually testing every single one of these pouring different waxes in them, uh, putting different wicks in them, of course, and of course burning them to see how well they hold up. But first off out of the box, uh, these, I, I'm not even exaggerating, that's not a clickbait title. These are easily the nicest tins I've ever seen. Uh, I've got a couple different colors here. I've got black, I've got a nice matte white, a gold finish, another bronze style finish, and then of course a rose gold copper finish. And then I got another flat or matte color, which is this matte gray right here. Now, of course, easily the two standouts for me are the, the matte black, which I'm a huge fan of. These are actually really nice. And of course, the other one is gonna be this almost brushed nickel or brushed aluminum type finish. Uh, this one is actually really nice, uh, real slick look. And every single one of these, and I'm gonna show in the video downstairs on the table, I've got them all set out, but uh, very nice tins extremely solid construction. I mean, it, I'm squeezing on that and it barely flexes. Let's see if I can flick that up against the mic. These are not cheap by any means. Extremely nice quality, nice matte finish, uh, real good. I, I imagine that's paint, I'm assuming. Uh, real nice finish, it's not flaking at all, just kind of uh, every single one of the, the tins that I pick up. And the one thing that really makes these stand out is it's a solid piece formed to make the entire tin. There's no seams in this, it's one solid piece, that and the lid. Now these tins are ones that are coming in, I don't know if they're actually on the website right now, but I've been talking back and forth with Michael from London Luxury Candle Supplies. Definitely jump over there, take a look at them. These are tins that I've been talking with him and we're actually trying to get these over to the United States. Now these are something that I would imagine are gonna be available in Australia, London, uh, where they are huge sellers. And of course, we're gonna to try to get these over here, which is why I now have these and I'm gonna be doing testing over the next couple weeks. And like I said earlier, there's been a lot of talk in the Facebook group about these. I've posted them twice. The, the hits and the likes and the comments have gone through the roof for these. Uh, you are not wrong for wanting these. They actually are extremely nice, very well built. And of course, I'm gonna do my best to try and get them over here so that we can get them in the hands of you guys, the candle makers. And that's definitely something that I'm gonna be working on over the next couple weeks to a couple months. Uh, we don't know the actual timeline of this one. It's gonna come down to shipping, logistics, and everything like that. But if you do want to be aware of these and when they hit, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and list the phone number that you can text, which is 253-303-7968. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that phone number right here. Now that's not a number that you can call. That's uh, like I said in a previous video, that is the community app, the community app text number. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have everybody text that. I was trying to come up with the best way to let everybody know. And of course I wanna let everybody in the DIY Facebook group and of course the people on this channel know about these vessels uh, first before I put them on the website. And the best way to do that is to text that number. And of course, everybody that texts that number with the hashtag new tins will get the alert the day that we can set these out. So as soon as I get these in, uh, this, and like I said, this is still all in the work, so I may be shooting myself in the foot right now, but the second we get these things in, I'm gonna send out a text to everybody who sends in that hashtag who wants to be a part of this so that you guys will know about this first. So please send any message to 253-303-7968 with the hashtag new tins, and you'll be automatically put on the list to get notified when these get launched. Now, of course, when these get launched, I don't know exactly how many we're gonna have. I know it's gonna be a limited release just to see how well they do. I think these are gonna do pretty well. Like I said, in the DIY Facebook group, there's a lot of talk about these. A lot of people want them. But of course, that's really gonna be up to you guys and kind of uh, the demand for these things when they come in. So like I said, it's gonna be a limited release when they first come out. Uh, I, I think they're gonna go really fast no matter how many we get. But if you do wanna get the jump on these, definitely send a text with the hashtag new tens and you'll be notified first. And of course, ordering on these is gonna come down to the colors that you guys want also. Now, I'm now of course, the matte black is gonna be one that we're gonna get no matter what. That's definitely one of my favorites. The matte white, and I think the brushed nickel or brushed aluminum, whatever that is, I think it's like a brushed nickel. But the brushed nickel, the white, and the black are definitely gonna be uh, some of the first ones that we get in. But if there's another color in there that you do like, like the rose gold copper or the gold, please let me know in the comment section down below. And we're gonna try to work on getting uh, a bunch of different colors in, but definitely the top three or four, if not four or five, 
so that we can really get colors and tins that are gonna match kind of your aesthetic and kind of aligned with your brand. So that's pretty much it right now. We're gonna go ahead and jump over to the table. Uh, I'm gonna put the camera down, actually lift up a few of these, kind of go through all of them, show you the inside and out of them. So jumping right into these, I don't know, <clears throat> I don't know the actual size of each of these, but there are definitely four different sizes. These two probably being right around the same size. I'm going to guess these are probably 10 to 12 ounces. Whereas this one's probably going to be more like an eight or a nine ounce. They seem a little bit bigger than the regular eight ounce tins. And then of course the three wick, which is probably leaning closer to 14 to 16 but these things are extremely nice i mean nice solid edges real thick construction and of course no seams which is really nice now the gold the exact same one and i don't know if you can see it too well in this but the top of this one is actually tapered whereas this one is straight up and down. You can see it tapering into the top there. It's just a little bit of a taper, so it's not much, but these are straight up and down. And then of course, once I get the testing with these, we're gonna go through, let them sit. I'm gonna do a bunch of vanilla just to see, because normal tins, if you get real bad ones, they will rust inside. Uh, and we're definitely gonna go through, take a look at these. I don't think these are gonna do that. I know Michael has done some testing on these and they haven't done it at all. And then the matte gold. Not too bad of a color. This one definitely doesn't stick out to me, but this would probably be pretty nice for a lot of people. I think this one, I think it would do well in the, in the right market for sure. And then, of course, one of my favorites is definitely this brushed look. You can kind of see it there. But the brushed is extremely nice. And again, nice, heavy, solid construction. I mean, I'm squeezing pretty good on that, and it barely flexes. And the nice thing about these is the construction and the build quality on these is so nice that you could actually sell these as a luxe line, luxury line, uh, definitely a higher end line, and definitely get a higher price for these than you normally would with any other tin. It's the matte gray. The rose gold, I think, is gonna be a huge seller. These are actually really nice. The color on these is real good. And then, of course, it's no surprise, <clears throat> the matte black is absolutely my favorite. These things are really nice. And the look on those would easily scream luxury line. And these ones here have a little bit of a lip, so that lid fits on there pretty well. And all the lids on these fit actually really well. They don't slide back and forth. They're not, they're not too loose and bouncing around. 
So again, that's it for this video. Like I said, if you wanna be notified, and you don't have to be, but if you wanna be notified about when these launch, like I said, we're gonna send it out in the text first because it goes out to absolutely everyone. And then of course we'll go out and we'll send it out to the email list that we have also so that everybody gets notified when these come out. But like I said, the people that are on the text list or the text notifications first will get notified first. And that number again is 253-303-7968 with the hashtag new tins. So jump over, send a text, add the hashtag, we'll put you in the list. And as soon as these get uh, closer to launching, of course, we'll send a message out saying, hey, these are getting ready so that people can kind of get prepared for these. Because I know some people will order quite a few and some people will probably just order five or 10 just to see what they look like. And of course, you can follow me on any of the social media platforms that I've listed down below, Instagram, Facebook, my website, the email address if you want to reach out. And definitely don't forget to check out the eBooks, which are step-by-step -step guides on how to make candles with a bunch of different waxes, and also a how to start your own candle business eBook, which is listed in the links in the video description down below. So definitely take a look at those. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching.